Welcome back to Sports Econ 101. I'm Edward Brown, your host, along with the famous Vern Glenn and the all, all now famous sports sports guy, uh, sports trainer, Scott Songgiver. Boy, I, I got that name down pat. Okay, on our third trivia question, we asked this question. Which 1985 St. Louis Cardinal player got his... Oh, 85. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. okay, all right. Play caught the automatic tart machine. He's thinking. He's thinking... <laughs> Man, I got man, outside of nothing. Keith Hernandez, I got nothing. Vince Coleman. Vince Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew that you were going to know that one. One of Whitey Herzog's fastest guys. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he gets caught in the automatic tart machine. That was terrible. Uh, just real quickly here, athletes who made more money after they retired: George Foreman. Oh, sure. Uh, with the grill. Uh, Jim Brown. Right. He Jim doing, Brown doing the movie. Nolan Ryan because he owns the Texas. Uh, He's show. president of the team. Uh, the Rock. Gotta get Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson. Johnson who, Dwayne Johnson. I love his dad, Rocky Johnson. He's my favorite wrestler. Because you know that's all real. You know, you know, you know. Dwayne Johnson was born in Hayward. I didn't know that. Yeah. He's a local guy. Yeah. Okay. Born in Hayward. Yep. Um, Michael John. Uh, Michael uh, John. Or excuse me, Magic Johnson. Magic. Okay. okay. And of course, Michael Jordan. See, a lot of these guys, you know, they with all of their endorsements. Oh, the endorsement. Yeah. yeah they're gonna. They're gonna make it. This is Thank you, Phil Knight. Yeah. Phil Knight. Owner of Nike? Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, any last? Uh, you got uh, 30 seconds. Actually, you know what? Don't have 30 seconds. Okay. Here's our thoughts for the Take day. Take us on home. Okay. Here's thoughts for the day. Hint, be careful what goes on your iPod. Uh, here I am at the gym, and I'm on pull-up number 12, listening to the theme of Rocky, and on comes a song from... Barry Manilow. Oh. I tell you, I turned into a spaghetti and dropped like a rock. Wow. Then you know how some people like to sing to their tunes, right? The next week, I'm on push-up number 300. Okay, I'm on push-up number three. And on comes, I feel pretty from South Pacific. I, I, I'm thinking. What's it doing on your I iPod did, in the say, first place? I was going to say, Vern, did you sabotage me? Okay. So maybe I, you grabbed your wife's iPod maybe, instead. Maybe. But I tell you, I almost got beat up by a 12-year-old. Good thing that uh, the song, I Enjoy Being a Girl, from the Flower Drum song didn't come on. That would have been terrible. Okay, tune in next week to Sports Turning Econ. Turning your man card. Yeah, <laughs> tune in next week to Sports Econ 101. We're going to be discussing sports topics from a business perspective and giving away vacations for answering trivia questions. Thanks for listening. On behalf of our team, I'm Edward Brown. Wishing you the best of Sports Econ 101. We'll see you next week. Okay. <laughs> I, I Seriously, though, I literally was... I was, I was on <laughs> well, my 15th or like a 15th pull-up, and suddenly it comes on, you know, oh, man, do you know <laughs> <laughs>